the world's smallest bakery by Dan. Um, the essential tools here, bench, which we made ourselves, was, was um, tons of fun and simple. Uh, balance scales, where we weigh out chunks of dough. Um, here's our redesigned UPS scale, which is where we weigh out flour uh, to make the dough and water to make the dough. Here's the star of our show, the William Davenport designed wood-fired brick oven. Shed a little light in. taking out a 400 degree pole. This is known as a, um, a black oven, meaning that you uh, both make the fire and cook the bread on the same surface. So it's a retained heat oven. Uh, I'm going to light this fire. I'm going to build the fire in there at 1 o'clock this afternoon and burn it till about 9 o'clock tonight and let the coal sit until four in the morning when I rake out the ash and swab the deck and seal it up and the first bread tomorrow will go in at around 11.15 in the afternoon. Uh, the temperature of the oven on the inside of the deck will be probably around 550 degrees and the vault closer to 625 or so. And I'll be able to do f at least four bakes at hour and a half intervals, uh, maintaining pretty close to that temperature. It goes down slowly um, over time. Underneath the oven, this is basically just simply um, void space uh, that you need in order to get the hearth up to the right baking height. And I've cleverly <laughs> designed it so that this is my proof box. This is where the loaves go in and um, and proof for an hour and a half before they go into the oven. After they've been shaped into loaves, they go in here and this is around 110 degrees, heated by radiant floor heat in a concrete slab at the bottom here. You would think that one would not need to supplementarily heat this, this space, being so close to a thousand degree oven. It's so well insulated that virtually none of the heat goes down into that proof box. So it does need to be extra heated. On the other side here is a fancy what looks like a locomotive door which I found in a flea market and that simply covers a void space which is where the ash dump is. So when I clean the oven I rake the ashes forward and over to the right and there's a little trap door that opens up and they drop down and once every three or four months that gets cleaned out. That's a nice mess. We got our rolling racks here. Everything fits, no room for no room for anything extraneous. These two pieces here are recycled Nordic track parts which actually hold up the ends of the carriages that hold the dough for the proof box. They basically those things get pulled out and loaded into the oven. Here is an antique cooler, which um, with the temperature controller I keep at 60 degrees. Uh, the type of dough that I make, the type of bread that I make, um, requires about four hours of fermentation at around 60 degrees. Unlike many breads which um, like a bulk fermentation at a warmer temperature. Um, we keep them in here for four hours or so in these bins. Each oven load of bread is three of those little tubs. And here's our little mixer, which um, is a 20 quart well built mixer and uh, is essentially maybe three times too small for the amount of dough that I make in, in each oven load. But, um, it happens to fit in this space and I figured out a timing so I just make three batches of dough for every 
oven load of bread. So tomorrow, for example, we're doing three bakes. That will be nine mixes. Uh, there's good things about that and bad things about that. If you screw up a mix, you still have eight you can do good. Um, I guess the bad thing about it is that no two are exactly the same, but who cares, right? Um, they're close enough. And that's basically it. We have a couple of benches out, out on the outer porch here. Uh, the, this beautiful machine is going to be brought up here by me on Monday, and that's our new flour mill. And that will go out on the deck, and our bread slicers out there. It's a fairly cold room in the winter time, but we try to work out there when the sun's coming in. We have other interesting items, portable, portable rats, which we use once we get over 96 loaves, if we're doing 128, um, we need extra rack space, so those fit onto these, and the bread goes on there. I can fit, what, 40 loaves on this, and 30 loaves on that, and 35 loaves on that, and I have a couple of bench racks if I really need it. And that's the end of that story in this room.